In 2019, the head of ASIO, the Australian Security Intelligence Organisation, was asked by a committee of the Australian Senate about right-wing terrorism in Australia. He downplayed the risk, stating that no right-wing group was listed as a terrorist organisation. However, 26 groups are listed as terrorist organisations by the Australian government. Quote, under the law, there are two ways for an organisation to be identified as a terrorist organisation. The prosecution can prove beyond reasonable doubt that an organisation is a terrorist organisation as part of the prosecution for a terrorist offence. Alternatively, the organisation may be specified in regulations as a terrorist organisation. This process, known as listing, requires certain processes set out in the legislation to be followed. Unquote. Every group listed is Muslim. 22 are Islamist, 3 are anti-Israeli, 1 is both Islamist and anti-Israeli, and 1 is a leftist group that is also Muslim. With this knowledge, it would be prudent to restrict Muslim immigration. Of course, the Australian government is not prudent. Instead, if you point out the fact that every terrorist group listed by the Australian government is Muslim, you are told that you are either a racist or a troublemaker. It is claimed that to point out these facts invites a terrorist attack. If that is so, then why are Muslims allowed to immigrate here? If it is not true, then why are they allowed to impinge upon an entire group and imply that they are terrorists? Isn't that both immoral and illegal? Of course, without mass immigration, then the threat to our internal security would be negligible but what's the problem with a terrorist attack or two or 200 when you're on the road to utopia?